went into a martial arts class and watched. It was all men. I mean, I'm old, sorry, but I am. And um, they were all men, and they they were hitting each other. And I just took one look at that. I weighed about 110 pounds, and I backed out of the room. I thought there is no way I can do this. There was no women and the martial arts instructor came over to me and basically lied to me. He would say, oh, you don't have to do that. Everything that I said, oh, I can't do, he'd say, oh, you don't have to do that. And he suggested taking private lessons. He would open this huge garage up and we would work there. And then eventually he brought in another man who uh, would just watch us and eventually he'd say, hey, come over here and demonstrate. And then the guy would work with me and he sort of eased me into the classes that way. And every time I would say, oh, I can't do that. He'd say, oh, you don't have to do that. I always had to do it. <laughs> but he opened this whole and amazing world to me and gave me basically what I felt was a gift of life. And I wanted to turn around and do that for other women. And I did. I learned as much as I could, um, got my first black belt and immediately started working with women uh, on self-defense. Not, not the entire martial arts for a while, I think I was a second degree black belt before I did that, but really started volunteering and teaching night classes for women who, you know, had been victims and needed to be able to walk out of their house and feel like they could cope again with the world. A woman can be a strong person. You don't have to physically fight somebody, but we're intelligent. We're very strong. We know what we want. And even if bad things happen to you, you can overcome them. You don't need somebody to come along and rescue you. You can grow to be this strong person and be with someone who's also strong and hold your own. And I love doing that in books.